What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Ford Era and another episode of What the Truck. You got me, Solomon, here. You got Merle right there. And we got Josh. Josh, dude, What the Truck. What's up, buddy? Welcome to Idaho. Thank you. It's kind of cold, but you know, I'm dressed at least appropriately. <laughs> yeah, right. You got to dress warm. Uh, this is my 1970 F250. It's now a one ton though, because it's on a one ton chassis. Dude, I love this truck so much. And it was a two wheel drive originally. Farm, it's a farm exempt truck from up in Washington. Um, bought it, had it for a few years and uh, my buddy, Old Iron Diesel, he's built me a few trucks, Henry and a few other ones. He built Gold Dust. He built Gold Dust, that's right, <laughs> I always forget. No. And if anybody doesn't know, Josh sold me Gold Dust. I, so Old Iron built it for, uh, for some friends of mine and they decided to sell it. And then Solomon hit me up on the interweb and uh, he ended up flying to Idaho and driving it home. Hell yeah. And you've put more miles on it than probably any crew cab on the planet. While it worked, I mean, it's back to working now, but yeah. we'll see how many more she gets. I'm hoping that I can hit a million miles one day. You will. I think so. I know you will. <laughs> so what do we have here? So it was originally a two wheel drive. Was it a service body truck? That's the original bed and everything? Um, I don't know for sure. It came with the service box. Okay, so when you bought it, that was there. Yeah, and then it was a two wheel drive um, dually. So the box is pretty beat. I'm probably gonna put a flatbed on it. Okay, that is your style. That's more my style. Hell yeah. The box works, I work construction, so it does its job for now. Dude, this is so rad. I just love how the like everything matches so well. Oh, dude, those mud flaps. So my buddy, Gray Ghost Metalworks here in Nampa, Idaho, he, he cut those out for me and my hood emblem, my hood stack. What oh, are the 35s? 35s, 17 inch. So this is on an 06 Super Duty chassis. Um, the guy blew a 60 up, of course, and uh, got the whole chassis from 75 Super Ginger was actually gonna use it and then he decided to go with the super cab so he sold me this and uh, but it came with the tires and the wheels and everything so really wow so that really must have made it an easier swap yeah and it came with this the factory with the bumper and everything this was off my dodge okay um so i we had to kind of fab it up a little different to make it work but i i love the classic you can see it's a real worn real worn Hell yeah. Dude, this is so rad. That's cool. Man. So it's my daily driver, I use it for work. And uh, it, it's an awesome truck. Dude, she is clean under there. Yeah, I... Jimmy always does such a nice job. Jimmy actually made me rebuild this myself. Really? Under his supervision, so. <laughs> hey, how many miles have you put on her so far? Um, Probably about, I. We finished it late November, so probably only a couple thousand. Hey, didn't break yet, so it means you did didn't, a pretty good job. Yeah, he, well, you know, Jimmy's the, he's the man, so. I couldn't agree more. He's actually, you guys could see it right there in the background, is dusty, and I sprung a little bit of an oil leak, so Jimmy's fixing her up right now. That's how good of a guy he is. <laughs> he's like, hey, go make this video, so. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a great guy. He's built some, I think this is the fourth, truck he's built for me with the Cummins in it Ford. Hell yeah. So what are, what it's like your future plans for this or is this like a finished truck you just miles no, logging? it needs, I need a bigger turbo. It's, it's running low, I, like maybe 25 pounds of boost. Okay. This turbo is off a third gen Dodge Auto. Um, so my wife just told me I could upgrade to the I think we're gonna do an HE351 on it. Hell yeah, that'll make a big difference. Yeah. Yeah, you should be able to push like 40 PSI with that baby. That's what I had in Henry, so. But I don't need anything super crazy. How's the interior? So the interior needs some work. Um, I have a friend that does airplane interiors and he's Dude, that told shifter. Me help me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is too cool. So if you guys are ever curious what a real working class truck looks like, you got it right here. Oh man, that's fantastic. <laughs> that is a tight back seat right there. Let me get that. The good old bump side, you know, you gotta 
reach way back there. So I'm gonna redo the whole interior. I'm, I kind of want to make it look like a saddle in there with like some stamped leather. Um, these are Cadillac seats and they they are- What kind of Caddy? Like an uh, Escalade? It's like a small Escalade, like the oh, SUV like SRX or whatever? Yeah. Hell so yeah. threw those in, they're power, um, but we'll recover that. And, but I'm probably gonna leave the outside how it is. Dude, I love it. And uh, I think it's time to bust the drone out, get them some pretty video. So let's do it. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna bust out the drone, enjoy this. Hope you enjoyed that footage. Now we need to go for a ride. So let's uh, let's hear how this bad boy fires up, and then we're gonna hop in. Everybody always wants to hear him. mod in here yeah they cut it you can see ah. they had a unfortunately I'll get another one Dude, the way you want to go it's cool forever everybody always is like oh you never let them you never let us listen to it you don't drive <laughs> them all right well here we are we're gonna drive them a little bit we're gonna enjoy it Super duty, baby. What tranny you got in here? So it's an MV4500 out of a Chevy. Okay. <laughs> I got four Dodge and Chevy on this sucker. A little bit of everybody. That's how I am on mine, you know? Yeah, you got you got to use the best things that work. This came in a truck, so I, the Cummins was in a square body Chevy, like an 84. K20, and the guy blew the transmission up, and I guess he said he didn't have the money to fix it, so he uh, got rid of it, and then I was gonna fix that truck up, and then uh, this has been sitting at my house for two years, so. What's the story of how you got this truck? So a guy named Jeremy, uh, I think Schobel, he had it, and I was looking, I was gonna buy Jimmy's crew cab. The white one? The white 71. And then I bought Henry instead and built and that. Henry was what for the people I don't know? Uh, 76 uh, single cab highway. Uh, my buddy Trevor has that. In and California. I'll put a couple pictures on top of this audio so you guys can see how cool that thing looks. Yeah, that was a beast, dude. My favorite video is when you were going off roading with, with, the, the, ladies. with the girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. I'll send you that video. I'll put it in here then. Um, so anyway, Jimmy changed his mind on selling it because he, the market started going crazy and he realized like, 
where am I gonna get another one of these? So then I was looking, and then one night he sent me that on Facebook Marketplace, and I didn't have Facebook, so I used my wife's, and the guy was kind of like, is this a girl one to buy a crew cat? Like, kind of weird, but anyway. So he, he delivered it in a snowstorm like the next day. Wow. And then it just sat. So what'd you pick it up for and how long ago? Uh, I got it for five, five grand. And at the time, that was three, three years ago. Oh, that was pretty, a lot of money then. Yeah, I was like, why? My wife was like, why are you paying five grand for that piece of crap? But, <laughs> Sounds like everybody's wife. <laughs> but now she's, she's like, she loves it. Yeah. She I mean, it. even before you did any of the work to it, it, it was at least worth double that. Yeah, I mean, I had, I had been told that, dude, this thing's worth 10 grand, as is barely running, so. Yeah. Dude, this thing isn't just a cool rig. I really love it. And I like the fact that you actually use it. And you have a whole, you know, basically a brand dedicated to that. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing now. Um, so, my day job, I have a small business. I build custom furniture and uh, do light construction. And then that's called Modern Timber. So, the emblems and the logos on the mud flaps and stuff is all part of that. So this is my daily driver for that, and I take it to job sites and deliver furniture with it and work out of it. And then I also have a truck page just dedicated to kind of trucks like this called Working Class Trucks. And it's not brand specific. We do Ford, Dodge, Chevy, International, Nissan, Mini Trucks, Datsuns, Ford Couriers, whatever. Um, so that's called Working Class Trucks on Instagram. I think I posted a few of your trucks on there. Yep. But just dedicated to, you know, the, like your dusty roads. Yeah. Trucks that get driven, put, a, you know, road yeah. hard, put away wet, and that actually get used. Exactly. Because for me, I don't hate on anybody's trucks. It's cool when you have a really pretty truck and you tow it everywhere and you show it off and you win a bunch of trophies and you feel good and you do put a lot of work and effort into it. But for me, it's about the experience and the drive. Like driving that camper <laughs> from the Homish, Washington to here, boy, has it been a trip. And those are memories that I'll never forget. It's awesome, And it's a, that's, to me, what's really cool about it because I can't afford a super nice truck. And I hope that when I could afford a super nice truck, I still don't want to have them. I do. You know? I mean, just, even this thing needs a lot more work, you know, but there's just, and my dad always had 70s Fords when I was a kid. That's the first thing I learned to drive. He had a 79 F350 single cab. We called it uh, Mean Green, because it was like a forest green. And I remember sitting on his lap driving that uh, on a construction site when I was like four. And I just fell in love with Especially the 70s, you know, the bumps and the dents are just my favorite trucks, hands down. And then the crew cab, it's funny because my dad, when I bought this, he's like, why'd you get a, why'd you get a crew cab? Nobody wanted those in the 70s. They all wanted a high boy. And I was like, dad, these are cool now. Like, I don't know what you guys were thinking back then, but anyway. The price of fuel was kind of expensive. Yeah, yeah. So, but just... <laughs> The metal on the dash, like... You just can't make it up. And they don't make things cool like this anymore to me. Like, you go get yourself a brand new Platinum, and yeah, it's really comfortable, and yeah, you don't have to worry about breaking down every 20 minutes, and, you know, did I tighten that bolt, did right. this and that? But it's not the same, because when you pull up same. at a gas station with this, you have people that are like, memories. Everybody's like, my dad used to have one, that truck reminded me of my grandpa's truck, or my neighbor, or my right. friend, you know? like. That, to me, is the cool part. And you make so many friends along the way because it's of that. I'm, I met you through trucks. Exactly. And that's, I, and you know, and all of us know that drive these old ones, but I, I can't go to Home Depot or a gas station. My wife hates it because she's like, oh, we're going to have a 20 minute conversation while you're sitting in the truck or while I'm sitting in the truck and you're talking to some stranger about the truck. But like you said, I almost everywhere I go, there might be some guy in the parking lot and he had a bump side or you know they just want to talk about my truck it makes yeah. people happy so it's, it's a pretty cool 
and it's definitely about the not about the miles per gallon and the no. it's about the smiles per gallon because if we worried about the miles per <laughs> gallon we would not do it well that's why we do the diesel swap right oh yeah yeah i know you're that's, hurting that's in that one day yeah one day yeah awesome well we're gonna hop out and uh actually we can end this right over here so if you guys enjoyed this video smash that like button it really helps out if you have any questions comments drop them down below let me know what your favorite part of this truck is if you don't already make sure to go follow modern timber and working class trucks on instagram and uh, if you want to support the brand head over to fordair.com get you some cool merch i got hats shirts keychains stickers and we'll see you guys in the next video